things have started to fall apart. There's a cost to these things, too. A cost to both your country and your family. In today's video, we will discuss the 15 best thriller movies of 2015. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. At number 15, we have The Stanford Prison Experiment, directed by Kyle Patrick Alvarez. The film delves into the chilling true story of a psychological experiment conducted in 1971 at Stanford University. Set in a simulated prison environment, the experiment assigns college students the roles of prisoners and guards. What begins as a two-week study on human behavior escalates into a harrowing ordeal as the participants become disturbingly immersed in their roles. Let the guards figure it out. Let's see where it goes. Good evening, gentlemen. How about we make this one a night to remember? This is all real. They won't let you go. The boundaries between reality and simulation blur, leading to ethical concerns and unexpected psychological consequences. Legend. Brother is a violent, paranoid schizophrenic. What I'm trying to tell you is that he's off his rocker. Wow, no, no. At number 14, we have Legend, in which Tom Hardy plays the infamous crate wins, Reggie and Ronnie. This film tells the story of identical twin brothers who become powerful and feared gangsters in 1960s London. Reggie is the charming and suave face of their criminal empire, while Ronnie is the unpredictable and violent enforcer. You're fucking well treated this way. Uh, you want to be treated, Jack? Right? Run. Shut up. He ain't gonna fucking help you, is he? You've got a tin of worms in your head, you mate. Won't. Don't take it out of me what happens if- The legend explores their complicated relationship with each other and the criminal world, showcasing Tom Hardy's superb acting and convincingly embodying both characters in this gripping tale of organized crime and brotherly loyalty. Spectre. The author of all your pain. At number 13, we have Spectre, directed by Sam Mendes. In this James Bond installment, 007 embarks on a global quest to uncover the sinister organization known as Spectre, as Bond follows a cryptic trail left by his predecessor. He unravels a web of deceit that connects the shadows of his past to the present. Someone. Get away from me! Why should I trust you? The film takes viewers on a thrilling ride across exotic locales, featuring high-stakes action sequences and espionage intrigue. Bond's journey leads him to a formidable adversary, Ernst Stavro Blofeld, whose malevolent plans pose a grave threat to global security. Room You're gonna love it. What? The world. At number 12, we have Room, directed by Lenny Abrahamson. The film revolves around a young mother and her son who are held captive in a small, soundproof room for seven years. The room serves as their entire world, and the boy believes it's the only reality that exists. As the mother devises a risky escape plan, the story transforms into a tale of resilience and the human spirit. Once freed, mother and son must adapt to the outside world, facing challenges both emotional and psychological. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Thanks for saving our little girl. Room is a gripping exploration of survival, the unbreakable bond between parent and child, and the transformative power of hope in the face of adversity. Bridge of Spies. Things have started to fall apart. There's a cost to these things. A cost to both your country and your family. At number 11, we have Bridge of Spies. Directed by Steven Spielberg, the film is a Cold War era drama centered on an insurance lawyer named James Donovan, who is unexpectedly thrust into the world of international espionage. Donovan is tasked with negotiating the exchange of an American U-2 pilot, Francis Gary Powers, captured by the Soviets, for Rudolf Abel, a Soviet spy arrested in the United States. A reconnaissance aircraft. You're gonna be taking pictures over Soviet territory. Set against the backdrop of tense diplomatic relations between the United States and the Soviet Union, Donovan navigates through a web of political intrigue, 
legal challenges, and the ever-present threat of the Cold War. The Martian at number 10. Tell my family that I never stop fighting to make it home. We have The Martian, directed by Ridley Scott. The film follows the story of Mark Watney, an astronaut stranded on Mars after being presumed dead in a fierce storm by his crew. Left behind with limited supplies, Watney must use his ingenuity and scientific know-how to survive while NASA and his crew work tirelessly to bring him back. The narrative unfolds as a gripping tale of resilience and problem-solving. We had no other option. No matter what happens, with Watney battling the harsh Martian environment and using his wits to grow food, generate water, and communicate with Earth. Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. Ethan? Benji? Open the door! Open the door! At number nine, we have Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, directed by Christopher McQuarrie. The film follows Ethan Hunt and his team as they face the challenge of dismantling a secretive organization known as the Syndicate, a rogue and highly skilled group that poses a global threat. Hunt, disavowed by the government, goes off the grid to track down the Syndicate's enigmatic leader and uncover their nefarious plans. Filled with jaw-dropping stints and high-octane action sequences. How do you know we can trust her? Desperate time. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is a thrilling espionage adventure that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. The Hateful Eight. Oh, now we're talking! At number eight, we have The Hateful Eight, Quentin Tarantino's homage to the Western genre. Known for his love of Westerns, Tarantino brings his unique style and storytelling prowess to this gripping and atmospheric film. Set in a small cabin during a blizzard, a group of dangerous strangers becomes trapped together, each harboring their own secrets and motives. One of them fellas is not what he says he is. As the bodies pile up, trust becomes a precious commodity, and tension escalates with every passing moment. With Tarantino's masterful direction, the small setting becomes a pressure cooker of suspense and intrigue. Flashbacks unveil the true threat, adding layers of complexity to the narrative. The Gift We went to school together. Sorry, I can't place you. Gordon Mosley. Uh, Gordo. Gordo? Honey, Gordo and I went to school together a very long time ago. At number seven, we have The Gift, directed by Joel Edgerton. The film is a psychological thriller that revolves around a married couple whose lives take an unsettling turn when they encounter an old acquaintance. As the mysterious visitor becomes increasingly involved in their lives, he starts giving them unsettling gifts that unearth buried secrets and long-forgotten traumas. Simon says... You think you're done with the past, but the past is not done with you. The narrative takes unexpected twists, keeping the audience on edge as it explores themes of revenge, morality, and the consequences of past actions. Everest. If anyone can make it, you can. At number six, we have Everest, directed by Baltasar Kormakor. The film is a gripping adventure drama based on the true events surrounding the 1996 Mount Everest disaster. It follows two expedition groups attempting to reach the summit of Everest, facing unforeseen challenges and harsh weather conditions. As the climbers struggle for survival, the story becomes a harrowing tale of human endurance and the indomitable spirit of those who dare to conquer the world's highest peak. I don't want to die, man. Can you hear me? Bro? You've got to get moving. Yeah. Everest provides a visceral and immersive experience, capturing the treacherous conditions and the personal sacrifices made in the pursuit of reaching the summit. Spotlight. It's Boston. It's a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew and they let it happen. It could have been you. It could have been me. At number five, we have Spotlight, directed by Tom McCarthy. 
The film is a riveting investigative drama that unfolds in the early 2000s. It follows the real-life story of the Boston Globe Spotlight team, a group of journalists who uncover a widespread scandal of child molestation within the Catholic Church as the team delves into the depth of the cover-up. Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep digging. We need to focus on the institution. Show me the game. The film meticulously portrays the challenges and ethical dilemmas faced by the journalists. Spotlight is a compelling and thought-provoking narrative that sheds light on the power of investigative journalism in exposing systemic abuse and bringing about social change. Ex Machina. Thank you. Well, why would she do that? Do you think I might be switched off? It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? At number four, we have Ex Machina. This thought-provoking Skyfi thriller revolves around Caleb, a young programmer who wins their opportunity to visit the secluded home of a brilliant CEO named Nathan. Tasked with conducting a Turing test on an advanced humanoid robot named Ava, Caleb soon becomes entranced by her intelligence and seemingly human-like qualities. As the line between human and machine blurs, the AIs are going to look back on us. Upright apes, all set for. Caleb finds himself questioning Abba's true nature and the ulterior motives of his enigmatic host. With a gripping plot, stunning visuals, and a mesmerizing performance by Alicia Vikander as Ava, Ex Machina delves deep into the themes of consciousness, manipulation, and the ethical implications of creating sentient machines. Sicario. Providing a measure of order that we could control. At number three, we have Sicario, directed by Denis Villeneuve. The film follows an idealistic FBI agent who becomes involved with a government task force targeting drug cartels on the U.S. Mexico border. As she delves deeper into the ruthless and complex world of the drug trade, she discovers the blurred lines between legality and morality. I'm not a soldier. This is not what I do. Why well, is this what happens when they dig in? This is it. Gotta be careful on these people. CIA is not supposed to work. The narrative takes intense twists and turns, revealing the harsh realities of the battle against organized crime. Mad Max Fury Road. At number two, we have Mad Max Fury Road a film that defies expectations in its adrenaline-fueled post-apocalyptic world. Set in a future where humanity has self-destructed and a brutal overlord reigns, this movie is a thrilling and cathartic experience. Directed by George Miller, known for his eccentricity and past Mad Max films, the action sequences are nothing short of spectacular. Real 18 wheelers and rally cars were blown up in the desert, creating a visually stunning spectacle. Charlize Theron delivers a powerhouse performance as a one armed warrior woman who relentlessly fights against the oppressive regime, while Tom Hardy endures an intense and physically demanding journey. The Revenant. At number one, we have The Revenant. The movie follows Leonardo DiCaprio as Hugh Glass, a trapper who survives a brutal bear attack during a violent raid by the Arikara. Left for dead by his companions, Glass is determined to seek vengeance against those who betrayed him and killed his son. Rising from the grave, he embarks on a relentless journey through unforgiving environments to confront his betrayers. Under the visceral direction of Alejandro Gonzalez in Aritu, Needs to be cared for as long as necessary. I understand. Get away! Help! The film features incredible one-take action sequences, breathtaking vistas, and powerful performances from DiCaprio and Tom Hardy, who portrays the antagonist responsible for the tragedy. And that's it, guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.